Hello everybody, Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is gonna be a champion spotlight on Felhound. Today I was chilling in a friend's stream and a lot of people were asking, is Felhound viable for Blender comps? So we're gonna find out how good he is against stronger teams in Gold 4, Platinum Arena, is he viable for that end game arena blender comp or he's not? If you don't have any other champions to use, he can definitely be paired with a Skull Crown or with a Sinesha. I will explain you a few strats, how to do it, a few things that you guys might know about blender comps. But before we move over to that, Falhound is a very popular champion. Everybody knows, or at least a lot of people know that he's the number one farmer in the game and the reason for it he has the faster animations in the game so we're gonna try him quick as a farmer then we're gonna have a look at all the stats gear and we're gonna talk about the blender comp how good he is there so let me just take a few ads in here and let's crack on it so he's a five seconds farmer guys he doesn't require crazily crazily high-end gear to actually be able to farm it in five seconds the reason for it is the animation he has. How you guys can see, he's just obliterating through the ads there. He doesn't have a slow animation. The ads, even if they're slow, he's literally dragging the rest of the food ads. The rest of the champions you're throwing in there with him together to actually get that 5 seconds. Queen Eva cannot take 5 seconds. Kale can take 5 seconds farm, but without ads. If you're throwing ads in with Kale, he's gonna take 6 seconds at its best. So not 5 seconds. Let me know if I'm wrong about it. If it's any other champion that can do it as good as Felhound in 5 seconds. No matter what he's dragging with him. I know a lot of other farmers. Like yesterday we were talking about Queen Eva. Farming in a 6 to 7 seconds with some of the ads. But then if you throw Rotos in there. She's slowing down to like 8-9 seconds. So I'm actually gonna give it a go and try that. I think I have a Rotos in my vault that doesn't have any gear on it. And let's see. If that slows us down or no. So literally I'm not going to put nothing else with him. I just want to see with Rotos. If we take go to 6 seconds. Or what exactly is happening. So we're already at 4 seconds. So probably it's going to be a 6 seconds farm. So Rotos slows us down 1 second. But most of the as they don't. Like literally Rotos has one of the slowest animation in the whole game. So now that we've seen. He's the number 1 farmer. At least is my opinion. I built him. I wanted a new farmer. I wanted to take skull crown out of there and uh, start using her for something else let's have a look how good he is as a damage dealer in a blender comp before we do that i'm just gonna try him to see how good he can deal damage without using a blender comp just with defense down actually maybe let's put a defense down and a weaken see how good he performs like that can he one shot the waves or he cannot of course Blender comps to go through shield sets, they need to be pretty, pretty strong. So unfortunately, he didn't one shot at the waves there. I'm sure if the teams are not like crazily overpowered, he's going to be able to do it. But what we really want to see is how good he can uh, deal damage here. Just by looking at the damage he deals here, we're able to see how viable he would actually be for a blender cop now probably skull crown with her a1 she would not one shot that team either so let's see here we have we have a different team no shield on any of them that's good so let's throw all our debuffs here okay arbiter she got resisted on weekend that might be a bit of a problem if we're not landing it like this we didn't okay Felhound is just too slow here I don't have speed boots on him. I have attack boots. So that's that's the reason why I'm I'm throwing him only in a blender comp. Okay, so now that we've seen that that I'm too slow for it, let me just throw him in the blender comp. So, a lot of you people might know it, a lot of you people might not know it. But when you're talking about counter-attack champions, blender comps, the way you position your champions, the order you put it is the order they're gonna attack on counter attack or in an ally attack so i'm gonna show you the order on screen right here so number one is your leader we have arbiter so the reason i'm showing you this is if you pair felhound with a skull crown if you pair felhound with a sinesha skull crown gets double hit if the 
enemies over 50% HP, then Sinesha gets double hit if the enemy is under 50% HP. So for example, you run him with a Skull Crown. You want him to go third, you don't want him to go second, because if he goes second and he nukes the enemy team to under 50% HP, then Skull Crown won't be able to get a double hit and some of the enemy enemies might survive. So you put her like this, so you make sure she's gonna go second with the ally attack, okay? Then if you're running Sinesha, you switch the rotation. You put Falhound in the second place and Sinesha in the third place, for example. So I'm not sure how many of you are actually familiar with that thing or no. But how you guys can see, they're pretty pretty decent together. Skullcrown got most of the damage because she went first. We're gonna try without her going first in a few teams. I'm not gonna be able to attack teams that they have shields, how I said. They're not gonna break through the shield. They're not strong enough. The gear on them is not strong enough to be able to, to cut through that. And I do have to admit, I think for the Blender comp, Felhound, he kind of needs pretty solid gear in order to make sure you one-shot most of the teams. Now, I don't have immunity gear on them, so I'm going to avoid Torment teams. I'm going to avoid the uh, Hegemon teams because I don't want to get destroyed uh, because uh, of immunity. So he survived there with that defense up. The rest didn't. It's still a 9 seconds farm there. Talhound 50k, Skullcrown 93k. Let's see what other victims we have here. So I'm not gonna attack this guy because I'm 100% sure I'm not gonna break through the shield and kill all the enemy team. But we have a pretty solid team here. Let's see if Sifi is actually gonna die or no. Now they don't have crazy, crazy team power, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't say anything about it. Okay, so they all went down. Let's see the damage we got here. So we got 121 from Skullcrown, 42k from Falhound. Now let's spin them around. So let's make him go second on the ally attack and Skull, uh, Skullcrown third and see if like this we are able to one-shot everybody. That will just show us the potential he has, the more damage he can do, you know. So again, we one-shot at all of them and we got what? 146k damage from Felhound, 47 from Skullcrown. How I said, she's going third on the ally attack, so she'll make less damage than Felhound because he he throws in the main nuke in there. Let's let's see this team. I have a feeling we might not one shot them in this format unless I'm swapping them around, but let's find out. Luckily, they don't have shield. Yeah, so Duchess survived there. And that's for the simple fact that they do have the... They have their... Uh, she has the passive, sorry. That uh, reduces damage on uh, AoE. So that kind of uh, saved them there. But still, we still managed to beat the team in this format. Now let's go against a Blender Comp. Blender Comp versus Blender Comp. Who's gonna win it? Make your bets, guys. Make your bets. Okay, so we one-shot all of them. 40k hit. He didn't go one-shot it, and that's for the simple fact that he's defense-based mainly. So his multipliers on his A1 is, uh, if I remember it right, I might be a bit off on the number, is a 1.7 attack multiplied with 1.8 defense. So that means that you... Gotta find the right balance in between defense and attack on Falhound. It's not like you just stack him with attack or you just stack him with defense separately and it's gonna work. You gotta find the right balance. I actually tested him before on a, the dragon where I can actually see the clear numbers. If I give him defense up and I give him a, a lot of defense, is he gonna deal better damage? Or if I give him only attack and attack up, is he gonna deal better damage? But honestly, I did not saw improvement in damage was actually lower damage like that so i i had to really find the the right balance on him to be able to deal a good amount of damage now i'm definitely super happy with him as a farmer i'll definitely be using him as a farmer myself i'm not using blender comps honestly i don't find them good enough uh, for an end game arena unless you have like crazily crazily good immunity gear that can work like that you can make a super good blender comps. There are a few in the game actually that I can literally break through the shield. Breaks through my Krisk shield. Then I, if I throw a Harvest Jack in there with more shield, 
just to ensure that my team it, it doesn't get one shot it still gets one shot uh, because of it so there are some pretty solid uh, blender comps but they're only like two or three in the entire game so probably i'm not gonna become public enemy number one rob like 20 banks just to auto click all night long to get better gear and better gear because um, it's not worth it boosting in arena ha it wasn't fixed this week opponents in uh, the lower tiers of arena from what i heard from all the people complaining they still haven't been fixed the level one cheese is still working to cheese arbiter so yeah they haven't really fixed anything with the patch i don't know if uh, what was their main idea with the patch they intended to to not fix anything they didn't manage to fix anything at all i'm honestly not sure what was the everything behind it but nothing got fixed so we had today a booster like four five hundred points uh, ahead of the rest in platinum arena so definitely in my opinion not worth it to give any sort of money at the moment if you want to compete in arena etc now this is the second time it happened, talking about Breck. So you guys can see him, he's still alive here, but we actually won the fight. He revived, he did not have the chance to get a turn to kill one of my ally or attack one of my allies. So I'm not sure what sort of glitch is this, but this is definitely a glitch. Brackus just doesn't have a chance to, to get a turn. It's a 3 seconds farm with this blender comp, so it's a pretty, pretty good farm, I would say. Now, of course, if you have a, a skull crown and you have a... A Sinesha is pretty good. You gotta keep in mind Sinesha does get uh, weak hits because of her affinity, but now because I'm going against Rotos, for example, this will not hold. So if my Falhound will hit him hard enough, and he will, he will proc the passive on Rotos, so my Skull Crown probably won't have an actual chance to finish him. So like this. I'm going to swap them around. We've already seen what Felhound is capable of if he's going second. So Skullcrown is not going to get a double hit. He deals 140, 150k damage. Even more, he's working in a blender comp. I will admit he doesn't... He does require a pretty decent gear to go with. I will show you the gear in a, mim uh, in a minute and the masteries as well. But let's do a few more fights in here. Let's try to get into Platinum. See if we hold in there. So here we, we've been able to wipe them actually two seconds farm, which is actually pretty crazy. To farm in two seconds is, is pretty, pretty decent, I would say. Now let's see what we have here. Now with Harvest Jack, we might have an issue and they have shield. So yeah, how I said, this team is not going to penetrate through shield probably, but let's give it a go. I'll be well surprised if we manage to one shot them actually, but we didn't. Now they're doing all their beatings. Harvest Jack might be an issue here. I'm going to try to decrease a bit the turn meter. He's going to be an issue. And the reason for it is that true fear right now. So hopefully he's going to get his turn. He didn't. So yeah, we're in trouble here right now. We are in trouble. Okay, so that's how I said. It doesn't penetrate through shield, unfortunately. It's not strong enough for uh, my build right now. But for the rest of the teams, it's, go it's going pretty good. So no shield here, most probably. Let's give them a go. We started finding uh, slightly stronger uh, opponents, to say like this. Okay, uh, for a second, I thought that Warlord might actually survive. But he did not. So yeah, guys. Honestly, I do think he's uh, more than capable to be in a blender comp. I don't see it. Why not? Uh, you guys can see he's dealing pretty good damage. Is working with uh, with Skullcrown together. Actually, let me do a few fights with Sinesha in as well. Now, she's not really built for a lot of damage. She's more of a CC, but let's give her a go. I don't have a crazy attack on her. So let me take Skullcrown out. Let me put Sinesha in. I do want her to go sec uh, third, sorry, rather than second. So she gets double hit. So let's give her a go and see what's happening. She doesn't have a lot of attack, she has speed boots, stun set, so she's really not built for a... Ah, she actually didn't even have a chance to go because <laughs> Felhound one shot at all of them, okay. Let's see against this team here, so we got, we got ourselves another Duchess in here. Is she gonna create us problems or no? 
Yes, they are. Actually, we didn't one shot at nobody here. And I'm blaming Sinesha. I'm blaming Sinesha. Now, let's see. Can we recover out of this or no? We got a counter attack. That's good. Okay. Let's try to kill Duchess. If we kill Duchess, we're gonna be pretty safe. No, no, don't, don't kill her. Don't kill her. Let's get the HP up, actually. Higher chances to, to survive from here on. Let's block that damage on my Arbiter to make sure nothing bad happens to her. We got another counter attack in there, which can actually become a clutch here. Now, actually, we have a Gorgor up. For a second, I thought there was a Massalia Mage there. Okay. So, we have double Razor. We might have a bit of an issue here, then. Okay, let's revive all our team. See if we can make a comeback here. Now, this is definitely not a fast farm. <laughs> not a fast farm on this team. So, Duchess is a... Is a bit harder to kill with Blender, seems like. Okay, so she's gonna revive here. If if we're not done in the in the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the fight because it, it's gonna take forever. We might keep on going on it, and it's something I don't want to do. Okay, so we killed that skull crown again. Seems like Doom Priest is still standing. So she revived not long time ago. If we can kill Gorgorab, we can get our clutch in here. Because it will be a few turns till. Till Duchess is gonna get again her uh, her revive, hopefully. So we only got one hit, weak hit as well from Sinesha. That's exactly what I was telling you guys. Keep in mind, Sinesha is not void. She's getting weak hits, not like Skull Crown or uh, Felhound right here. So this should this should do it now. Okay, so it took us a bit too long to to farm with the Blender comp on this team. I explain you the reason why as well. Let's try it against this team. So we have nothing that's weak affini uh, strong affinity for Sinesha. Can we one shot this team? Seeker is gonna proc his defense up most probably. But they didn't survive. That's good, okay. That's pretty good actually. Okay, let's see how many points we are away from platinum. Not that far. I'll do a couple of more fights. I mean, these teams here, they're already pretty strong, most of them. Like 234k. And that's with Sinesha, okay. I do prefer Skull Crown over it, honestly. Just uh, overall a better uh, utility. And you, if you have good stun sets, you can always run a good stun set on one of them. Like that, if by any chance you don't one-shot them, you might actually get a chance to to actually land a stun in there, and that can be pretty helpful. Can be a pretty good clutch for you overall for the for the blender. Now I am running stun set on her for faction wars. Okay, so Lissandra survived here, and that's because of the weak hits. How you guys saw we got two weak hits, two weak hits on her from uh, Sinesha. But enough with that nonsense. You guys saw he's definitely capable to be in a blender comp. I still think he's the number one farmer in the game. Let me know if I'm wrong on that, guys. I might be wrong. I haven't tried every single champion as a farmer, but I want to know your thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments below. So now that we've seen what he's capable of, let's have a look at the gear, stats, mastery. So we have him on a savage set and a cruel set. That's pretty important in my opinion. Savage is, is one of the best champions, uh, the one of the best sets for attack champions in the game. Nothing can beat savage. So we have like this, 29k HP, 3k attack, 3.4k defense. So how I said, you gotta find a decent balance in, in between. Only 126 speed. I did not focus speed whatsoever. I went with attack boots, if I remember it right. We're gonna have a look in a second. 102 crit rate, 255 crit damage, 204 resistance, zero accuracy. It's just what we have from the Great Hall. Now, for whoever is not familiar, we have his A1, Ravage, attacks all enemies, has a 25% chance, 35% chance fully booked of placing a 15% decreased speed debuff for two turns. Again, this can help you 
if you give him accuracy to slow down the enemy team but i would not focus accuracy banner i would still go for attack or defense just to ensure i'm getting more and more damage out of him then we have his a2 places a 7.5 continuous heal buff on buff and a 15 percent reflect damage buff on all allies for two turns decent skill he can he can be pretty good in a uh, fire knight as well if you don't have any crazy champions then we have his a3 deflect places a block damage buff on an ally for one turn on three turn cooldown is all right nothing too crazy then we have his aura increases ally defense infection creeps by 19 percent now let's have a quick look at the artifacts what i have on him so that's the weapon right here we have the helmet we have the shield Free damage gauntlet, of course. Defense chest piece. Attack boots. I have a defense uh, ring right here. Free damage amulet. And I think I have an attack banner. So how you guys can see. Attack, attack, defense, defense. I focused attack on the weapon. I focused defense on the helmet. Focused a bit of more defense on the shield. Now the substats of most of these pieces are not amazing unfortunately i could have run here with some more crit damage same here to have a bit of speed but that's what we have uh, working on him and i'm pretty impressed with him a rare champion to work in a blender comp on 200k plus team power in a end game go in top goal four i think he's pretty pretty solid now i definitely don't think he's got tier for a uh, platinum arena against the super strong teams i'm pretty sure they won't be able to one shot it Unless I give some crazy gear on my skull crown so she can actually carry his ass a bit, but, a bit, but rather than that, I don't think so. Those are the masteries right here. Offense and defense tree. I got a bit of more defense here. Tough skin. Blast proof. We got a resurgent. We got delay that. And we got retribution to counter attack. Then we got delay, uh, deadly precision. We got kin strike. Heart of glory. We got whirlwind of death. We got ruthless ambush. Wrath of the slain bring it down methodical kill streak and for the last one we got helm smasher now it's super super important focus heart of glory ruthless ambush bring it down methodical and helm smasher now another thing that can help a bit to break through the shields <clears throat> against the stronger teams that they run shields is to run a shield breaker on uh, your damage dealers this can mainly help against those teams sometimes will actually make you one shot those teams if uh, if you weren't doing it before but then you're kind of missing on heart of glory and trying to break through all those defense high defense teams with shields is going to be pretty hard just with the blender comp so probably i would not suggest you to go on shield breaker unless you have crazily got tier gear to to give to your champions but that was all for this video guys let me know your thoughts on Felhound. honestly i really like him as a farmer I'll probably throw him in the Faction Wars as well now as a damage dealer that I 6 star him. That was all for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more content, turn on notifications to see when we upload next. And I'll see you all soon on another video. Till then, peace out.